Okay, today uh, you're just going to learn how to use Virtual DJ. Pretty simple enough. Um, basically, you're just going to learn how to use the crossfade and use the loop. Loop is very important because you know you can keep the uh, part of a song looping, the part that you want to mix in. You know, you can loop it while the other song is playing and you know slowly use the crossfade to mix it in and it'll mix in perfectly. So uh, let's start. Open a virtual DJ. Alright, here are my two songs that I chose. Mark Knight, Badass. Alright, so whenever you're gonna mix, this is your crossfade right here. Alright? Whenever you're gonna mix, you wanna have the side that you're gonna mix into volume just a little down see this line right here you want to have it just right there I mean you could have it wherever right here where I use it like right here so um, you know you really don't need to know any of this unless you're gonna use it I don't know I mean I never use it I, I really don't know what the hell anyone would use like a, this for I don't know but whatever anyway virtual DJ you can uh, you can just grab your music from here see you just click iTunes go to wherever grab it drag it into there but I already got my songs so looping now this is gonna be a little tricky so looping here we go whenever you loop you're gonna wanna grab the piece that you want to loop, so I want to have that, to, that, 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 right? So I'm gonna click eight, so it can choose eight pieces of that song. Now watch. Perfect. No, no. Okay, so you see, it grabbed the piece of the song, but it kind of starts in the beginning, so you hear like that beginning weird. See? So let's try that again. Okay. Okay, here we go. Alright, that's perfect. Good enough. Alright, so, see? That part just stays looping. Press play on your other side. Now, whenever you play, uh, press play, you see these squares right here. Um, it's going to be a fat square, little square, little square, little square, fat square. You want to match them. So, you want... Uh, Whenever you press play, you want to press play, see, like pretty close enough, and then the song just press sync, and it'll automatically kind of like match the squares for you. So, you know, here, here goes the mix, you just, you know, this song is going to be looping, so you don't have to worry about that, and you already know your little loop. Now, something I forgot to mention is the BPM. Try to try to find songs that have the same BPM. Don't get a song that is gonna have, um, you know, like like uh, one song is gonna be 128 and one song is gonna be like 137. Cause like a lot of trance, a lot of trance has like a lot of fast 138, 137 BPM. You know, and trance and house don't mix in too good. You know, trance and house is a little difficult to mix if, if you're not you know experienced so here here goes the mix you know sync there you go whatever let's speed it up now here here goes the mix see you just skim sync them and you just slowly you just Slowly, just start bringing it over, and you can already start hearing the other song. Now watch. You bring this up. You see, you already start hearing the other song. You bring this down, and you just loop out. 
And that's your mix. That's it. You know? I mean, you can, uh, from then on, go ahead and uh, let the song play and do the same exact thing. You know? Uh, it's not hard at all. You're going to get used to it. You're going to get used to it, and uh, it's just something you have to practice, you know? Uh, something you have to get used to. Uh, I'm going to do another video to show you uh, how to use two headphones. I mean, uh, how, to, how to use the headphones to your advantage so that you can get an even better mix. Because, I mean... With this, you know, you're just kind of like throwing it, not even knowing how the pitch is going to sound. So, um, but that's your just basic mix, how to use Virtual DJ, you know, whenever you're recording and stuff. So, there you go.